What's up gamers and welcome back to another video. Now I usually start these things off by saying welcome back to another tutorial, but today we've got a question that I had not even considered, so I'll be responding to it and in the background we'll just have some gameplay. So I had just finished making a how to install SideQuest video when I came across this question from Steven who asks, as someone who just got his first quest, what is SideQuest and why do you need it? I want to thank you for the question and I hope you're okay with me using it in this video because I've already done it. And I think that sometimes as a longtime gamer and YouTube creator, you sometimes forget that not everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. So to answer your first question as quickly as possible, what is SideQuest? I think the best way to describe SideQuest is it's a program for your PC or an app on your mobile device that serves as a content platform like the Oculus Store for standalone headsets like the Quest, the Quest 2, and now the Quest 3. Now, why do you need SideQuest? I think the most simple answer is that you don't. If you're happy with the games and apps you find on the Oculus Store, you don't need SideQuest one bit and you can go on never thinking about it again. On the other hand, there are plenty of games that are not officially listed on the Oculus Store, so if you want to play things like full game ports, indie games or early access games that are still being developed, then you will need to use SideQuest to sideload them onto your headset. On top of that, there are plenty of extra custom home spaces that you can load onto your headset that are not available on the Oculus Store. And I don't really think that's a big deal or anything, but it does allow you to surround yourself with some of your favorite locations, like the Simpsons House or Bob's Burgers Diner, and plenty of other places of course. On top of all that, you also get access to settings that give you the option to change your video resolution from square to landscape, and the options to make motion stabilization more smooth. Now, I should note that in the recent update to the Oculus Quest OS, these options are also available in your headset directly, so this is no longer as big a deal as it used to be, but it's still a good feature. Now, ultimately, whether you use SideQuest or not is 100% up to you. I'm just here to help out in any way that I can, and since the Quest 3 is my latest gaming peripheral, I thought I should make a few videos for it. Now, if you'd like to know anything else or have any other questions, feel free to leave those in the comments, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.